Do you experience the afternoon slump that has you reaching for the sugar? Today I'm talking about how your morning routine might be contributing to your afternoon slump and those sugar cravings. So join me for today's Nutrition Coffee Chat. Ah, oh, it's been such a long time since I've connected with you for a Nutrition Coffee Chat. I've missed you. It's great to be back together again here where I'm providing you with professional and practical nutrition for busy people because there's so much oh, nutrition information out there. I'm helping you to navigate amongst all that conflicting nutrition information out here on the internet so that you can, and practical strategies so that you can create healthy eating habits that actually stick. And I've been a lot up to a lot since the last time we connected. I'm sure you've had a lot going on for you too. And really, oh my goodness, so many things going on. But one thing I wanted to share with you is that in the meantime, since we've been together, I we launched our first online nutrition mini course and chose to do so on the number one thing that people reach out to us asking for help with, and that's eating too much sugar, sugar cravings that you feel out of control with. And so we created our How to Stop Eating Sugar mini course. And so I know I wanted to talk about sugar for today, uh, but if you are interested in a bit more of that course, I'll include a link uh, in the description box below so you can check it out. But in the meantime, I wanted to share with you a really common strategy that I use with clients um, that have had a lot of success for folks so that they go from blaming themselves for the lack of willpower, the lack of motivation, because they know they shouldn't be having that sugar every afternoon, but every afternoon they're just drawn like a zombie <laughs> to that, you know, uh convenience machine you know the the machine at the in their workplace or they're finding themselves rating for anything in their kitchen that has any sugar in it there and so i really wanted to connect on that today and share this strategy with you now if you listen to a lot of health podcasts blogs that sort of thing you might have come across um, Al Andrew Huberman's, uh, the neuroscientist, talking about caffeine and how he recommends waiting until about 90 minutes after you wake up to have your first coffee in the morning. And I love that advice and it does connect in here. And so in case you've missed it, a little kind of recap of what he's talking about. Um, what he's talking about is that while we think of caffeine as a stimulant, it actually isn't a stimulant. What it does is it prevents us from being sleepy. And so it's really a story about adenosine or adenosin, uh, which is a neurotransmitter, and it gives signals to our body to be sleepy. It's kind of the sleepiness signal. And to do that, it attaches to receptors in our cells that tend signals the sleepiness. And caffeine, so within our morning coffee or tea uh, or your morning energy drink, if you're an energy drinker, uh, uh, that caffeine, what it does is it competes for those receptors. And so the caffeine goes into the receptor instead of the adenosine, and so it blocks that sleepiness signal. So we don't get sleepy <laughs> and we feel more energized and ready to go and enjoying our morning there. But the thing is that if you have coffee right away when you first wake up in the morning, it causes that sharp crash, typically kind of two, three o'clock-ish there. And so what he recommends is waiting until 90 minutes after you wake up to have your source of caffeine, to put the caffeine in your body so that you don't have that same harsh come down at uh two to three kind of o'clock in the afternoon that causes that afternoon slump. A strategy that I've used a long time with my clients takes it even a little bit further. Because caffeine is absorbed, you know, when we've had it in a drink uh, or other food, we absorb it from our stomach and our small intestines there. And the rate of absorption can be quite variable, particularly if you've eaten, had your coffee with um, food, it will slow down the absorption rate and particularly foods that contain fiber. It's quite similar to if you've ever drank alcohol on an empty stomach versus with food and it hits you at different rates. You know what I'm talking about here with the caffeine. 
And so what I recommend with clients who experience that afternoon slump and that chronic sugar consumption and cravings is to move, don't have your coffee on an empty stomach, but wait and have your first coffee with your breakfast there and particularly include fiber rich foods in your breakfast because then it will slow down the rate that the caffeine is being absorbed and clients find that they're not having that afternoon slump and they're not reaching for the sugar for that pick me up there. And so having moving the coffee to with breakfast then slows down that rate. It also is probably have your coffee have, having it later in the day. Um, so you're delaying and incorporating what uh, the neuroscientist was recommending as well. So you're incorporating both um, aspects there with that recommendation. And as I said, particularly foods that are fiber rich. So having it waiting until breakfast for your coffee and having your breakfast include some fiber rich foods there, which might be something, oh gosh, fiber is in, found in so many places. It's in our vegetables and fruits, nuts and seeds, whole grains, even beans, lentils, chickpeas, all of these foods have source, are sources of fiber. And so your breakfast could be something like even a smoothie there that you've got maybe a banana in there and some frozen spinach and a couple tablespoons of flaxseed, for example. Or maybe it's avocado toast on a piece of whole grain bread. Or maybe it's oatmeal with walnuts and blueberries. Just a few examples of breakfasts that include fiber that can help slow down your caffeine absorption and prevent that sugar craving in the afternoon. Ah, well, that's our first tip back together again here, 2024. It's so lovely to connect with you again. Uh, I'm going to be seeing you again next month. So have a wonderful month. Enjoy healthy eating. And to, yeah, make sure that you don't miss uh, future Nutrition Coffee Chats, please subscribe and click the notification bell below so that you are able to connect with me for each Nutrition Coffee Chat.